Happy Telling Tuesday. Thanks for coming. I love Tuesdays. And today, as you can see, it's a special day. I am in Nauvoo, Illinois, representing past settlers of this area. I'm participating in a country fair and the Nauvoo pageant that tells the story of the Mormon settlers when they lived here in the 1840s. So today, as I share this story with you, I want you to imagine that I am a mother of two small children living in a log cabin in the 1840s and just sharing this story with my children. Well, once there were two girls their cabins were right next door to each other, right here on Night Street. Now, these friends, Ava and Ella, well, as being neighbors, they were friends, but they weren't always the best of friends. They had some of those things that creep into us sometimes, a little greedy and envious, and sometimes they weren't very nice to each other. When they would wake up in the morning, well, one morning, Ava and Ella, they walked out of their front doors and they met each other and started walking to school. And as they walked along, Ava was thinking of something that would make her sound very important. And she said, Ella, my father put new feathers in my feather bed last night. Oh, I slept like an angel. Well, not to be outdone, Ella said, Well, I've been sleeping on new feathers for months. I get the most wonderful beauty sleep. Well, just yesterday, George was <laughs> telling me how beautiful I look. Well, after that, with a huff, Ava went trotting off to school leaving Ella to walk by herself. At lunchtime, the children were all getting into their little lunch parcels, and well, Ava looked over and she saw this milk mustache across Ella's face. Mm. It made her a little hungry after having eaten only a crust of bread. But, she went up to her and said, Did you have a meat sandwich today, Ella? Oh, my meat sandwich was so good. Well, after that, Ella asked her mother for a meat sandwich with lots of meat on it for lunch. Even though they didn't have enough money for that sort of thing. After school, Ella and Ava met each other with their mothers at the general store. And Ava was just walking out of the store and she held up a beautiful red ribbon for Ella to see. Look what I got. Oh, she imagined tying it in her hair. Well, after she walked out, Ella said, Oh, mother, can I please have, have one of those red ribbons? One of the wide, pretty ones just wanted it to be bigger and better than Ava's. That night, Ava and Ella, they sat on their front porches while Ava's mother told them a story. And they talked about the family dance that was coming up. Oh, everyone was excited, thinking about what they were going to wear, what dances they were going to do. And as they were sitting there on the porch, well, the girls, they looked up and they saw the wishing star. The very first star appear in the sky. Oh, and the two of them, along with their siblings, well, they looked up at that star and they sang in their hearts, star light, star bright, first star I see tonight, I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight wishing star. Look down on those two girls, those friends that maybe needed a lesson taught to them. 
and the wishing star whispered for only those girls' ears to hear. I will grant your wish, but only under one condition. Your neighbor will get double what you get. The girls, they thought about that, and right away, Ava said, Oh, I wish I had a new dress to wear to the dance. And, well, no sooner had she spoken those words than she ran into her house, and there, hanging beside her bed, was a beautiful blue dress with ribbons and trimmings. She held it up to her and imagined dancing at the dance. And then she thought of Ella. And she knew. She could picture it in her head. There was Ella right next door. She had two beautiful dresses. One yellow, one blue, with buttons. Oh, she, Ella danced with a gown in each arm, thinking about how beautiful she would be at the dance. And then she, Ella realized it was her turn to think of a, of a wish. She wanted a wish that that Ava wouldn't be able to enjoy. So Ella wished, I wish that half of my dresses were ruined. <laughs> well, the girls went to bed, thinking of their lovely dresses. To Ella's dismay, when she awoke the next morning, the bottom half of both of her dresses were in tatters, eaten away by the moths. And of course, Ava, her whole dress when she woke up was full of holes, moth-eaten holes. And the two girls, they went to the dance in their church clothes. Nothing new and fancy and they talked about this wish and what had happened. Thankfully, they were able to laugh at themselves. And you never would have heard two girls with so many compliments for everyone around them. Things were much better for the two of them after that. Let us learn from Ava and Ella and be happy with what we have. I bid you farewell from Nauvoo, and I hope you have a wonderful week.